Hello! Welcome to the stream, people. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a marvellous day. Um, I'm going to fill time for the next two and a half minutes while the people who aren't subscribed get through the second ad session Twitch has decided to give because of the whole disconnecting, reconnecting thing we just had. If you're watching on YouTube from the future, ignore all of this. This means nothing. But this is only relevant to those of you who are live right now. But yes, okay. Right. So, today... We are working on Lucian's Beyond Skyrim Bruma patch, uh, which we've been working on for the last couple of streams. Going to be doing lots more of that today. It's going to be fun. I don't know which particular element. What's wrong with my hair today? It's all tufty, sticking out in the wrong direction. Sorry, I was going to say, I don't know what element of Bruma we're going to be doing commentary for. No, that's still bothering me. There's like a, there's like a flicky bit. There's like a, a bit there. I really need a haircut really badly. Um, I'll get on that. Uh, in the next couple of days. Um, thank you so much for the subs, Miskatonic. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. That's really nice. So, anyway, right. So, yes. Bruma stuff. Um, we're gonna be work- Well, actually, if I'm gonna have to say all this again in a minute and a half time as soon as people are through the ads. So, let's fill the time with making noises. So, some of my favorite noises to make are bing and, uh, vib, vib, vib. And uh, bloop, 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 bloop. that's quite fun. That's quite fun to do as well. Um, I also like uh, the sort of noise you can make when you kind of uh, hold your nose and you know that's quite fun. That's quite a fun noise to make. Um, and now for some dances that I can do. I can do. I can wiggle my arms like that. Um, oh, I can dab. Uh, there's a throwback. Um, and I I can't juggle. Um, as we now will witness as I attempt to juggle this calculator. Ooh! Oh no, there you go. That's, that's as far as we can get with that. Um, what else can we do? <laughs> oh, crumbs. Look, Twitch says there's 30 seconds left of the ad. Check has redeemed Make Me Sing. Uh, something random to pass the time. Okay, so we're gonna do that, um, we're gonna do that as a wrap. Yo, it's me, and I'm singing something random to pass the time, yeah. Something random to pass the time. Random something, yeah. Because I'm on stream, and I'm feeling mean, and I'm uh, gonna work on a bean. Um, and, and, and we're really quite keen to get on the scene in a team. It doesn't really rhyme. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, there you go. We're through the ad break. We did it. We filled the time. Go, everyone. Uh, we're gonna cut all of this from the VOD. We're gonna cut the whole lot of all of that. That's all gonna be gone, and this is now gonna be the starting point for the stream. So, uh, in fact, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna start the whole thing again. Are you ready? Where's Joseph? Right, okay. Are we gonna start? Are we gonna start? Here we go. And now... Hello! Welcome to the... I just spat. That's awful. We'll go one more time. We'll go one more time. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. Right, one more time. Hello! Okay, I can't forget it. We'll just include it all in the VOD. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. It's all going really well. Um, welcome back, people who accidentally got sent to the ad break. That's Twitch. I can't control that. That was because we had to cut and restart the stream. Um, anyway, hi. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, I'm doing- it is a Thursday. It is a Thursday. <laughs> um, this is, uh, good, great. So, we're off to a cracking start. It's, it's 15 minutes into what should have been the start of the stream. We've done so much modding, it's been amazing. Clearly, I need the tea. Right, so, as I was saying, today we're working on the Bruma patch. Um, it's gonna be brilliant. Uh, I say brilliant. I don't know what we're gonna do. Any suggestions from you guys of things to comment on would be great while we're doing it. I'm just gonna fire up the creation kit. We're gonna try and write some lines for something. Um, we did a lot of alien lines last time. Probably don't need to do more alien lines this week. We'll probably do something different. Sure, Clovian fur hat. Why not? What's he gonna say about that? Maybe he's gonna say, I like this hat. I don't really know what more I can say about that, but but sure, maybe he will. 
Maybe he'll complain about wearing a fur hat and that. No, actually, if he's complaining about wearing the hat, then he would just take the hat off if he were a real human. So that highlights the um, the fact that it's a video game, which is a never a good idea. So we won't we won't have him complain about the hat, but it's gonna be it's all gonna be good. Um, let me just get it set up. Just gotta set up the the stream uh, the the resolution so that you guys can see my screen uh, and actually read what I'm doing while I'm doing it. If it'll load, which it won't, I'm just staring at the screen. There we go. What about the Mages Guild or the Synod? I don't know. That's the beauty of the stream and also the fact that I know nothing about the lore. So that's the sort of thing that I'll need a lot of help from you guys with. Uh, but if we open UESP and we open the Bruma, Beyond Scar and Bruma on UESP. And I'm going to open my streaming profile and then I will tab over so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Joseph, does one of Lucian's brome lines, I don't know what that means, about the Aeliads say something about they were occupying Hammerfell because they don't, that's the Dwemer. Well, according to the wiki, it does say that they have ruins in Hammerfell. So, we looked all that up last time. Oh, Bruma lines. So, um, there is obviously maybe both the Dwemer and the Aeliads had, uh, had ruins in Hammerfell. Oh! It's got all our tabs open from last time. Maybe that's why things have been running slowly recently. I shall certainly have a look later. Lost Kitnip, thank you for letting me know. Bum, 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 bum. So if you know about the, the lines we added last time, you'll see, you'll have seen the stream. I assume you'll have watched the VOD or something. And you'll have seen how we did it. So if you if you have a look back on the video, at whichever bit was where I mentioned Tamifel or whatever, you'll see me reading it directly off the wiki. Because none of that is knowledge out of my brain. That is all, you know, that is all. So you'll see the references, you'll see exactly where it came from. So if you're worried about it, have a look back and you should see exactly where we got it from. But I didn't make anything up on that stream because I don't know anything. I'm a bare of very little brain. Right, screen with camera. Banish myself to the octagon. So Twitch is being a pain for me today, um, as well as the whole um, stream uh, thing not working to start with. It's decided to just hide my quick actions bar. My bar that lets me do a raid, lets me run an ad if I want to, lets me, um, lets me run a poll. That's just gone. And uh, if you look up online how to how to add that back in if it disappears, it says you go to the layout manager and you press edit and then you press the plus button and then you press quick action. And I go to do that, and it ain't there. It's not there. So the whole thing is gone. I don't know what's happening with that. But it means I have no control over the stream. So uh, we can't raid anyone today, even if we wanted to. Uh, we can't run a poll. We can't, cannot do any of these things. So I'll just have to leave that up to Twitch to fix. But uh, there you go. How frustrating is that? Oh, and now it's just deleted the chat. Chat's just been deleted back until back the last 10 minutes of the chat I've just lost as well. This is going very well today. Anyway, right, so we want Bruma, Lucian Bruma patch. Off to a roaring success. I didn't break anything. I broke nothing. I claim no responsibility for any of this. Ragnar. This is, I'm the victim here. This is not my fault. Why is it taking so long to load? What is going on today? Literally, Kelles le problème. Which is actually French for, why is everything so awful? 
Um, okay, show only active forms. Go to quests. Right, we've got our quest. We've got Bruma. We've got Aliens. We've got Cloud Ruler Temple. Um, we've got stuff. Maybe we could do some location stuff. What about the locations, the places, all the places in Bruma? Look, we all the bodies of water. Oh, there's only two. Why does it have a whole list for two bodies of water? Put Blanky over computer, give it a little pillow. <laughs> right, we have Riemann's mirror is a body of water. Hey, but look, if I make him comment on these two things, I can I can put on the mod description, I can say, Lucian comments on every body of water in Bruma, and that'll sound really impressive. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, there's nothing to say about either of these places. There's no law associated with either of these things, I don't think. I mean, yeah, sure, I could do Castle Bruma if you want to be obvious about it. <sighs> Is Riemann's Mirror something that's in? No, it's not in the ordinary game, it's only in... Okay, so there's nothing really you can say about it apart from that it's pretty. It's an interesting name for a lake, but how would he know that's what it's called? It's not like it's got a sign next to it. Unless he just knows, unless this just comes from his encyclopedic, en encyclopedic knowledge of everything. Do we want to say it's that? Just the fact that he knows everything, that he'd know what that is? Maybe, maybe not. There you go, Ace has clarified about the alien ruins. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty quick, pretty creak. But well, I don't know what Lucy could say about it, really, apart from the fact that it's pretty. You know. Maybe we won't comment on these. Forget the bodies of water. Abandon the bodies of water plan. We've got nothing to say about them. No. We're reinstating the bodies of water plan. We're going to comment on Riemann's mirror, but we're not going to bother with the creak. Because it's just a creak. Like, what's Lucy going to say about just a creak? Um, okay, we'll go to the Bruma quest. This can be our general Bruma commentary stuff. And uh, down here, we'll have a comment about this lake. Now, does it have a location? That's the first thing to check. CYR... No, it doesn't. It does not have a location. What is it? Oh, uh, CYR Riemann's Mirror 01 is the um, is the COC code. Let's open it up and think about what's it. SSC edit. That's what I'm talking about. Are you guys following all the technical jargon that I'm using today? You know, stop me if it gets too complicated. I don't want to. I don't want to lose any of you. Am I coming across as really professional? I hope I am. I had a comment on YouTube a little while ago, um, and it made me laugh. Maybe the person who commented is watching now. Who knows? Um, but I had a comment because a few, a few streams ago, I ate a cookie because I had a cookie and I wanted it, so I ate it while I was streaming. And they commented in the bottom advising me that eating on stream is, uh, what is it? Is rarely advised and never professional. That's what they said. And I was like... Have you ever watched any of my streams? Do I give you the vibe of it all being a slickly edited, um, professional, scripted TV show extravaganza? Or is it just one to three hours of my unfiltered brain? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so we are looking for... Sorry, were we debating about whether it's Riemann or Raymond? I mean, I, I've i always said Riemann. Ligoria reckons it's Riemann. 
If you missed the one with the cookie, you can catch up with it on my VOD channel, on my stream archive channel, Joseph Russell Live on YouTube, which has all the streams on record. So they're all there. So if you miss one, you can you can go back and um and you can rewatch them, you know, to your heart's content. So if you want to find the cookie, you can totally watch the cookie stream. It's all good. You expect choreographed content, Kitnip. Well, you had a dab at the start. I don't know what more you want. Honestly. Right. Is there a location called Riemann's Mirror? No, there isn't. So, how do we know where it is, apart from that it's in Bruma? How do we find this and reference it? Maybe we can't. Maybe this is just going to be a completely unsuccessful stream. I've had a very unsuccessful day today. Apart from having a nice lunch in the park, and a nice melty cheese thing, like, I went to view because it's the time of the year where I have to uh, I have to find somewhere new to live because my college are throwing me out of this flat at, uh, at the end of August. Um, or so they say. Um, and uh, so I've got to be viewing loads of flats and things. I hate it. I find it very stressful. Um, and I was due to view three today and I went to view one this morning and I didn't like it. And then the second one that I was going to go and view, I was quite excited about and they cancelled it, said it's already been allocated, given to someone else. And um, And then the third one, I did the same thing. And the third one in particular, I was really excited for. And I spoke to them on the phone and they said, oh, don't worry, if someone else puts an offer in, we'll email you to, so that you have an opportunity to put an offer in as well. So they assured me that they would do that. And I was like, great, great, that's perfect. I'll wait to try and view it. But if I can't view it, I'll put an, maybe if someone else puts an offer in, at least I can have a go. And then they just emailed to say, no, we've allocated it. And I was like, what? You said you would email me. And they just decided not to. And that really annoys me. So that has not been successful. Anyway, so it's not a cell. It's a world. It's an exterior thing. It's in the world space of Bruma. I don't think we're really going to be able to find it very easily. I don't know where this goes. Like, this is the, obviously the COC code. I don't know whether that's something you can search in SSE Edit. I don't think it is. I don't think there's a button to look for it. Why is this called Todd Howard? Who made the Todd Howard world space? And why is this Funland? I want to go to Funland and Todd Howard. Yeah, 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 for sure. I could check he's in the cell with the lake. I need to find the lake though, Blue. This is the thing. This is the first mission. Find where the lake actually is. Or maybe I can find it in the CK if I go doop doop do dab a dab a dib dib dob doodle um, as they say. And then if we go all the way down to CYR now what was it called over here? Is this the CYR Riemann's mirror? Maybe it'll be down here. CYR No, it's not there either because it's not referred to like that. It's not. Ah, because I'm looking at interiors. Blue is on this. You're on fire today, Blue. Cracking work. I am looking at interiors, and that's why we won't find it. It'll be in BS Heartland. Thank you so much for the sub, Rainstorm. Thank you for supporting my nonsense. The nonsense does require a lot of support. Um, Riemann's Mirror! We found it! I'm so glad I thought of that all by myself with no help from anyone. That is truly professionalism. Uh, okay, right. Riemann's Mirror. Edit. Ooh. It doesn't have a location. We know that. Fine. Sure. But what we can do is we can say get in same cell and we can pick one of these babies. Good. as Blue suggests. This is before we've even figured out what he's even going to say about it. 
He's not going to have anything useful to say about this. This is the most pointless thing. Right, get in same cell. Is there an option for Lucian to open up the spell book and training mechanic for alternate start mod users, or will that be a future feature, or is it just for vanilla playthroughs? I don't understand the question. You can absolutely you train Lucian if you use alternate start. These things are completely unrelated from one another. What do you what do you think the problem is? What's the problem you're experiencing from using alternate start? Ha! You're jealous now, right, Blue? Yeah, you wish Zelzaz commented on bodies of water like Lucian apparently does now. Huh? Huh? What am I on today? I, I swear I'm just drinking tea. I haven't had any sugar or coffee. Okay. Let's go with... Uh, what can be our reference? Maybe this rock pile. Nope, that's put us in the wrong place. We didn't want that. We want Riemann's mirror. Maybe I need some sugar and coffee, maybe. No, nothing in the tea. The tea just has milk. Can I? I've always wondered, can I click on this? No, I can't. I have to click on the render window. Fine, good. Right, so this is Riemann's mirror. Let's see if we can click on anything. See if there's anything here that actually lets us click on it. Often doesn't. Um, what tea? I'm currently drinking Earl Grey. A nice... Oh, look. Look. A cart. It will let us reference this cart. Oh, it won't. I really thought it would. Ah. This works. We can just type in, see where... We could have done this all along. We didn't need to look anything up in the screen. We could have just typed this in, in the condition. See where our Riemann's mirror... Right, what does it actually have that I can use? This Nern root. It's a good question. Can I just check that Lucian is in the CYR Riemann's Mirror 01 cell? Now, I think I can't. Because I think if I type in get in cell, and I type CYR Riemann's Mirror, it doesn't let you. Because when you do get in cell and you go to type it in, it only lets you type in interior cells. Now, what you can do is you can just fill it in with something random, and then you can open SSE Edit, and then you can manually change the random thing you filled in to the exterior cell. But, I don't want to do that. I don't want to save the thing, creation kit, close it, open SSE Edit, find the thing, change the thing, close it, over reopen the CK. That's a lot of effort. So, we have solved it. We've done it. We're going to check if he's in the same cell as that specific NERN route. And Nuna is absolutely right, T Veils. It is not tied to one particular quest. All you have to do is take Lucian with you on any quest that he has commentary for, and his approval will go up. And after you reach a certain approval level, then he will train you. He will offer, not train you. you he will ask you to train him. It's not gated in any way to, hit, to the main quest. It does not require you to pick a particular place in the main quest. So you may alternate start to your heart's content. Okay, right. And it's intentional that it shouldn't be instant. It's supposed to be after a little while of traveling with him. We don't need a get stage. We don't need an is an interior. We do want the is an interior. Do we want the is an interior? We do want the is an interior, just to make sure you're not currently in an interior, which you shouldn't be if you're in the same cell. But you never know with these things, because Skyrim be a strange beast. Um, you are very welcome, T Vales. T Vales, am I saying that right? Or would you rather I said T Vales? T V Ales? Like ale, but on TV? Don't know, don't know, don't know what we're going for. Anyway, so finally, after this 15 minutes of trying to find the right thing in order to set up commentary on this one single lake, what are we going to say about the lake? They call, go on, we'll have him just know it and we won't bother to explain how he knows. They call this lake Riemann's, <laughs> I could just say pretty after all that, yeah. Riemann's mirror. Gosh, that sure is a lake. So full of water. Look at all that water sort of wobbling around a bit. Sh crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. They call this lake Riemann's mirror.
a rather lovely name. Where is it? Ruins. Specifically. We can claim it as his own personal lake. Seems a bit greedy. <laughs> we can have that line as well, Ace. Go on. He can have two lines for this super specific one lake and rumor. Why not? I feel like I am living uh, Gary's philosophy with Inigo here with large amounts of line dialogue for super niche specific things. Now, of course, I need to also make sure Lucian isn't currently swimming if he says that line. <laughs> Lucian, now with twice the late content. Isn't the story behind Narcissus about a man who falls in love with his reflection in the lake? Yes, that's the Greek myth of Narcissus. This lake is so clear. No, not clear. It's the opposite of clear. Uh, stunning. I can almost see my face in it. Just to be clear, that is not an invitation to push me in. That'll do. Right. Dialogue, dialogue. Does whatever dialogue does. And this line only works if Lucian is not currently swimming and to be honest it also only works if the player is also not currently swimming well that is mean do not push lucian in the lake just specifically ask not to be pushed in the lake watch it or i'll swing the ban hammer i am joking but no mean Okay, that'll do. We've got our two lines about this particular body of water. I'm sure everyone is thrilled with this turn of events. Oh, actually there is a giant nern, nern root growing in the middle of the lake. Go on, let's do Whitewood Creek as well. Let's have him comment on the giant nern root. And then we really can proudly say, Lucian comments on every body of water in Bruma. Right, so what's Whitewood, Whitewood Creek? C-Y-R, Whitewood Creek. Get in same cell. Selected ref. C-Y-R, White Wood Creek. And we want to say, get in the same cell as Giant Nern Root? Tree Flora Nern Root 01, is that it? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't have to be the Nern Root, it just has to be something in the cell. That'll do. Thank you so much for the sub, as were I. That is a very strange question to ask. I feel very uncomfortable. Right, okay. Is an in interior equals zero? Fine, yes, okay, good. Oh, it's even more niche than that, Highland Springs. It's niche content of modded followers commenting on modded lakes. It's not even a vanilla lake. You have to be using both mods to get and go to this particular lake. 
in order to get Lucian to say this. I might increase the probability of the Lions playing, though. They're currently on 0.5%. I might bring them up to 1%. The most commentary on bodies of water on the Nexus. He will have the most commentary on Bruma bodies of water on the Nexus. It's true. Oh, dear. Look at the size of that nerd root. Magnificent. What a lovely little creek. And look at the size of that nerd root. Magnificent. There you go. That's all we need. We'll bump that probability up to... Oh, maybe we'll go crazy. Maybe let's, let's just go with less than 5%. Because you're not going to spend that much time near this one particular thing. And this will bump this up to 5%. And this will bump up to... 5%. No, I was also joking. Sorry, I'm not I'm not that creeped out. I'm so, <laughs> it's slightly an odd thing <laughs> to ask what we should name the the sub baby. It's very strange, but no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's odd, but it's not it's not the oddest thing people say to me. Okay. Right, there you go. What should you name your flower-themed orc? Petunia! No. Um, Snowdrop! No. Uh, Agapanthus! I've always wanted to meet an orc named Agapanthus. Oh, Nuna's got there, though, with orchids. It's a bit on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> Fine, I'll allow it. Okay, right. Well, congratulations, folks. We have done all of the bodies of water in Cyrodiil. So you can you can release the confetti, start the party. We can tick off bodies of water from this list. I don't think we need to do all the individual camps because Lucian wouldn't know anything about these specific camps apart from that they're camps, in which case the generic bandit dialogue, or, you know, applies. Oh. We do have the camp of Talos worshippers. But Lucian's dialogue about this, I think, should be specifically tied to a delicate situation. Shouldn't be general because it varies, you know, on whether they're there or whether they end up going to prison. Whee. So no, we won't do camps. Castles. Surely there's only one. Castle Bruma. A large fortress which serves as residence of the Count. Yeah, fine. We already have general Bruma dialogue for the city of Bruma. Do we want to do some more lines specifically for when you're in the castle? Comments on the museum. What's the museum? Is that the collection of Akaviri artifacts? Will there be a dialogue about the blades in Cyrodiil? Well, I mean, we've got a whole quest for it. The whole Cloud Ruler quest temple thing. Cloud Ruler temple quest. So, yes. Yeah, look, there's all this stuff. We've got the kitchens. We've got the barracks. We've got the dungeon. Oh, the Hero of Kavach Museum. Well, again, that's a whole sort of mini quest in itself, isn't it? So we won't do that just at the moment. But we will do some general lines about Castle Bruma.
this place is magnificent. knocks the proverbial spots off anything in Skyrim don't you think and that location because obviously Castle Bruma is bigger than any of the Jarl's palaces In fact, we could say that specifically of any of the Jarl's palaces, Jarl's palaces, palaces back in Skyrim. Would Lucian know anything about the court itself? I mean, he has a comment about the Carvanes. I don't think he's going to have a whole load of dialogue about them. Of, like, a conversation about them, necessarily. But... But, you know, he's got that line, which is something, I think. Does losing have dialogue for when the player is transformed into a werewolf? He does, yes. Anyway, let's actually make this location correct. So it's not just CYR Bruma location. It's Castle Bruma. Come on, open the thing. How many times do I have to click on the internet to make it? There you go. Right. CYR, Bruma Castle, Great Hall. That'll do. Great Hall is the right place. CYR, Bruma Castle. Oh, look. Ah, of course. Right. Castle location. Let's change this then to being get in cell. Because we want this to specifically play in the Great Hall. CYR, Bruma Castle, Great Hall. Hall. No, the line we have there, the line is, I've heard the Carvanes have a spectacular collection of Akivari artifacts. I'm very jealous. That is the line about the Carvanes Lucian has so far. Does not address that one of them wrote an Explorer's Light Guide to Skyrim. To be honest, I don't think that's something that makes sense to have a comment on. Apart from, did you know one of the Carvanes wrote an Explorer's Guide to Skyrim? Which, I don't know. Maybe, it, actually, maybe if you got a copy of it, that could be worth doing. That could be a really specific niche thing that might make people happy. Hang on, I might sneeze. Everyone cross your fingers. Am I going to sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> I sneeze. Please send your internet blessings. By Marcius Carvain, Viscount of Bruma. When was Marcius Carvain around? Will Lucian comment on any of the Bruma quests? Yes, he does. We've already done one of them. We're going to go through as many of them as I can think of. Viscount Marcius Carvain. He is the author of an explorer's guide to Skyrim. So he is in the mod. You can talk to him. Oh, so it's a whole thing. Our oh, check's already told us it's actually in Bruma. Right, okay. Okay, that's not so simple then. Has Lucian ever been to Bruma when he was younger in lore on some dialogue? Okay, so yes, he has been. He passed through, and we have a dialogue line here. I passed through Bruma on my way to Skyrim. I'd actually fallen asleep in the cart, so I missed it. But the driver told me it was lovely. So there you go. That's Lucian's Bruma experience so far. Now, the trouble is... I probably can't tell you whether or not you've already met Viscount Marcius Carvain. Oh, and you can already ask him about it. So it's already a whole thing. Oh, I don't think it makes sense to double it up with Lucian saying about it as well. Because it's a whole dialogue thing already. So that's fine. We don't need to, don't need to double up on that. 
Right, that's fine. So um, what else could we say about the Castle Bruma? We could have a comment for like each wing of Castle Bruma. Gosh, wouldn't you, Nuna? You'd love to read a short story about Lucian's journey to Skyrim. Someone really should finish writing one of those darn things. Rather than leaving it half written on their hard drive for over a year. I am writing more Flavius Chronicles. It's on my list of things to get done. I have one about um, Daviticus, and I have one about Lucian on his way to Skyrim. The Lucian one I was thinking of calling Flying the Nest. But um, I don't know for sure yet. Right, the Lord's Manor is the only area of the castle where you're trespassing if you're in there. Oh. Oh, and I don't think we have is sneaking conditions on these. Which we should do. Let's just whack one on here. You want to hear more about his mum? Well, I'm not currently planning on doing another um, Flavius Chronicle about her, but you might hear more about how they met, um, or a little bit more about their backstory in Davidicus's Flavius Chronicle. Oh, that's really cool, Ligorio. Is there a chance one or both of his parents would call him Lamkin? Um, I mean, I've never heard that name, that word. Is that a, is that a term of endearment that's in, in popular use? I've not heard that one, so probably not. Does Lucian hate something like giant spiders or creepy callers of Skyrim or anything else? No, he doesn't have a specific hatred of anything. And that is absolutely not okay to say, Max. Please review the rules. I will ban you. Okay. Ha! Huh, congratulations, MMX452. You are the millionth person to ask that question. So, probably not. But maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't really want to have to cast voice actors and do a whole thing with that. I'm not super keen on it. But... It makes sense that if you can go to Cyrodiil, that Lucian should, you know, we should address it in some way. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. At one point, I was toying with the idea of adding a, um, you know, of adding the Lucian mansion kind of thing into, um, you know, Villa Flavius into Cyrodiil if we came to that. But, I mean, I was talking about that on stream the other day and someone who I think is associated with the mod commented saying I won't be able to do that. Um, so... And if I, you know, said I'd have to put it outside the city, if I were going to put it outside the city, then it wouldn't be matching the law that I've already established for it. And if I were going to do it, I'd want to do it properly. You know, I'd want to do it that matches with the story rather than the sort of half-hearted attempt. So I don't know. I'd rather not have it be there at all than have it be in the wrong place because that just draws attention to it. I do think that's quite funny, Ace, that idea. That you just missed them because they went to Skyrim to visit him. I think that's really, that's really, it's a funny idea. But obviously then you could go back to Skyrim and one could assume that they've gone back to Cyrodiil and if you come back to the house again, they've gone again. I could have a set of like 20 different notes they could have left him that I randomise every time you go back and forth between Sky Skyrim and um, Cyrodiil. Like, go back and forth. And um, 
every time it's a new note saying like, I can't believe we've missed you again. Oh, I can't believe we've missed you again. How many times have we missed you? Okay, this time we're really gonna bump into you. Okay, no, next time, okay, you go back to Skyrim, I'll go back to Cyrodiil, and then, and then you come over next. You, it's like when you're trying to phone someone and they keep trying to phone you at the same time and you keep um, overlapping with each other and neither of you can talk. It's like that, maybe, I don't know, it'd be funny. I don't know, Czech. I think when he says, I grew up in the Imperial City, he has to have grown up in the Imperial City. I think if he lives outside the Imperial City, it just doesn't work. And then the last one is, well, we've gone off to High Rock for a vacation since we kept missing you. <laughs> that would be very funny. Oh, well, maybe I'll do that. It's exactly what, what exactly no one wants, but maybe I will. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, okay. Anyway, let's do some actual dialogue. We've written like two lines of dialogue in an hour. It's rubbish. Right, so, um... He has spent time in the archives of White Gold Tower. Yes, he talks about it in his dialogue. See, I mean, you say maybe they did, but they didn't. You know, it's my story, darn it. I want them to live in the Imperial City. It's where they live. That's where I have their city folk. They live in the city. That's where they live. Can we meet his cat? If I ever introduce Lucian's cat into the game, it will be voiced by Grey. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might have to chase around with a microphone for 12 hours, but I will record enough dialogue to voice the cat. Hey, Sakura, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Um, I say it very well. I've had, a, I've had a rubbish day, but I'm enjoying enjoying the modding now. So. And this is Castle Lord's Manor. Whee! I've definitely written all the dialogue with them in the sit inside the city walls. You know, in the, in the, <laughs> that's what's been in my head the whole time. I'm not going to start changing that because if another mod doesn't make room for it, you know, it's fine. We might never even do Beyond Skyrim Serial Interactions, you know, and that mod isn't going to release for a long time. By that point, we might have totally moved on to Starfield. I don't know what we'll be doing. Maybe I'll have retired from modding. I don't plan on it. I'm working on a personal project that is a 2D pixel art side-scroller RPG, and apart from the main NPCs, there are not really voices in the game. Would you allow to make one of the approachable NPCs in the court look like Lucian and name him that? I want to sprinkle some Easter eggs in. I would, of course, not claim right to the character or anything. We can definitely talk about that, Ligorio. For sure. Because that sounds fun. I'm sure there's a way we can figure that out and make sure, yes... Yes, but let's talk about it and make sure we're both clear on what we're doing with that and everything. But that sounds very cool, and I would love to help you out with that. As in, I'd love to, I'd love to help figure out the way to include Lucian in it that works and everything, and is all copyright clear and all good. So, yes. Let's talk about it. Okay. Okay. Something smells divine. 
This can be for the service hall with the kitchen. All my favorite foods smushed. Yes, that's it. Lucian is going to canonically say smushed up into one delightful fragrance. Now, is it fragrance or fragrance? Fragrance looks better. I want to say fragrance. Fragrance. Yes, fragrance. Okay, uh, we have got the what else have we got in here? We've got the Great Hall. We can do the Guest Wing. The Guest Wing. Is that song something to do with Robin Hood? Maybe it is. I don't know. It's just in my head. I don't know what it's from. Is it a Robin Hood thing? Nah. Now, this is excellent accommodation. Accommodation. A calm with two M's. Two C's and two M's. That's it. Like assassin. But with C's and M's. Like assassin, but housing. That's um, any estate agent in my mind. <laughs> uh, okay, now this is excellent accommodation. When I settle down in the mansion, it's definitely going to have a guest wing just like this. of my own. It's definitely going to have a guest wing just like this. Because Lucian thinks he's going to get to retire to a mansion of his own. Bless his little cotton socks. If only he knew what adventures he was going on. I've just realised all of these have is interior equals zero on, on them. They should be one. Where would Lucian's mansion be? I don't know. Where would it be in Skyrim? You mean if, if, if he bought a mansion in Skyrim, where would he buy it? Is that what you're asking? Because he won't buy a mansion in Skyrim. But if he were to buy a mansion in Skyrim, where would he buy it? Well, the retirement, when, when you say when he retires, again. Uh, would he inherit his parents' home eventually? I guess he probably would inherit his parents' home eventually. But he might, well, but I also like the idea of him having somewhere of his own. You know? So, I don't think, um, he might inherit his parents' place. Well, exactly, Nuna. Lyra and Davidicus are going to live forever. But whether he actually will inherit his, parent, inherit his parents' place, I have my doubts. 
Um, Great Hall, Lord's Manor, Guest Wing, Service Hall, Barracks and Dungeon. No, he doesn't have any siblings. He's an only child. This place, uh, actually, I can practically smell the soldiering going on in here. They are abuzz with guards at every time of day. There is a bar area featuring drink-laden tables and a counter with a strong box guard. There is a training area with iron weapons and shelves containing guard armor, leather gauntlets, a gold necklace, and four leveled potions. Guards getting ready to guard. Good for them. Doopy doopy doo, bapa doopy doopy, bapa doo bapa doopy. Bada bada da 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 very generic. They deserve names. But generic prisoner they shall be. Right. I hope I down here. Best not lead me astray. Actually, that line works better for general prisons, general dungeons. So I could use that line in um, general Skyrim dungeons and stuff rather than in this mod. But yeah, I will think of a line to put here, just for completeness. I know it doesn't really need to have a special line just for the dungeons, but I feel it's nice to have a line for each of the rooms in the castle. Um, I'll think about that. But guys, we're going to take a five minute break. I will be back shortly. Talk amongst yourselves. And uh, when I'm back, I'll have thought of an amazing line to use for the dungeons. Okay, see you in a bit. Surprise! It's me, I'm back. Hello. Um, right, let's continue with the uh, with the Skyrim modding shenanigans. Uh, right, okay, screen with camera. Mmm, bacon, bacon sounds good. I am a I am a jump scare. I, I I'm a jump scare in life, generally. Uh, I I always try and whenever I speak to anyone, I always try and embody the jump scare. I don't. I don't. Um, right. Yes. Anyway, cool. So screen with camera. Back we go. Okay. So I didn't think of a line. <laughs> I said I would think of a line and then I got distracted and I didn't think of one. So I haven't got anything for the dungeon down here. Um, but 
But are the dungeons particularly extensive? I think they probably are. Because you can comment on that. CYR Bruma Castle. No, hang on. CYR Castle. Oh, because we want an interior now, don't we? That's what we want. I almost know what I'm doing. CYR Bruma. No, CYR. Uh. Bruma. Castle dungeons. Let's look at them. Ah, smashing. Well, that's really informative. All the exclamation marks. Good. That's probably because we haven't got the meshes loaded. Um, but yeah, we can't really tell very much about them. So, never mind. Okay, so let's look at the count. Cause that's is the count who lives in the in the castle, in Castle Bruma, doesn't he? And he remains the count regardless of your choices. He's always in charge. Okay. So this is where the count puts People he doesn't like. Um, what can we say about it? Some kind of pithy, sarcastic mm, sass. This is where the Count puts the people he doesn't like. Um, see, I want to talk about TripAdvisor reviews, but obviously that's not a thing. Uh, so I can't, I can't say that. Um, I mean, we could just say something generic like, remind me not to get on his bad side. It's something. It doesn't all have to be gold. Sometimes we just have to remember, will it do? Yes, it'll do. So we're fine. Great. We've done dialogue about Castle Bruma. We don't need more than that. That's fine. Let's go back to our list of locations. So we now, we now cover every single castle and every single body of water in Beyond Skyrim Bruma. You're impressed, right? I can tell you're impressed. Or we could do the chapel. The Cathedral of St. Martin. Martin Septim. Oh, this is the picture from Blades. Not Blades. Legends. What a lad. What a bean. What a Sean bean. Good, good chap. We could just dump some Martin lore on the player when they're in the chapel. You wrote a minifig where you wrote about Neil and Lucian going there? What did you say? What did you say? 
Yeah, we'll check what the priest can tell you. Though. That's true. This is true. We don't want to don't want to overlap massively. Logorio is absolutely right. Who we got? We've got Nerimus Aggression. We've got Harfir, and we've got Rain Rentai. Nerimus Aggression is an Imperial Priest. Greetings, stranger, if you come to learn the gospel. I love how well documented this is. It's brilliant. Right, so he does tell you the story of Martin Septon. So we don't need to repeat all of this. Yeah, this is obviously Oblivion spoilers. Great battle here in Broom, where is the great gate was up? Yep, da, 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 da. Turned into Akatosh. Defeated Marin's Dagon. There's broke the siege of the Imperial City, restored. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, I'm assuming it probably does have a location thing. Get in current location. CYR Bruma Cathedral of St. Martin. Very good. I wonder if there'll be cathedrals to you one day. I mean, if turning into a dragon is the main criteria, surely you're well on your way there. And that we're going to condition on get stage. MQ104. Now let's remind ourselves about the stages of MQ104 to check whether the player is Dragonborn or not. Skyrim MQ104. Dragon Rising. Dragon Rising. Dragon Rising. Dragon Rising. Uh, greater than or equal to 160. Thank you so much for the sub, Ghosty. Really kind of you. Thank you for all the support. You folks are wonderful. I have to say, with all this, all this organizing of flats, trying to rent a new flat and everything, I can tell you estate agents are very confused when you tell them your career is or like a significant chunk of your income comes from Skyrim modding and Twitch streaming and YouTube. When they come to do your reference check, they don't like that. They're not, they don't like you explaining about your source of income being from all of that. What they want to see is a pay slip. They do not want the average of your Twitch earnings and your YouTube earnings over the last... They don't want that. It gets very confusing and very tricky. But they also don't like, oh, thank you for the save, Ligorio. They also don't like PhD stipends. So I'll be honest, my situation is not fab for any of them. <laughs> they don't like anything about my reference check. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, right.
Martin sounds like he was a really lovely chap. This is true, Nuna. They are reasonably common. Nonetheless, they don't like it. I don't know. They just don't like it. They want to see your payslip. They want to see your tax form. They want you to have a normal, proper job. That's what they understand. Wish I... I'd give to have met him. Normal proper jobs are boring. On the whole, I, I personally would find a lot of normal proper jobs boring. Because it's not my kind of thing. For a lot of people, they work really well, and that's absolutely fine, you know. I'm not, I'm not, wouldn't ever dream of being critical of other people, you know. But for me, I don't think I could personally ever work in an office. I think I have to be, I have to be making, I have to be creating something. Whether it's fun, you know, stuff like this, or whether it's um, engineering stuff, you know, biomedical engineering, prosthetics kind of thing. But I've got to be... Yeah, I, I've got. I've got to be. I've got to have a project. I did a summer job as I did a Saturday job as at the garden centre in retail for many years when I was a teenager, and I couldn't. That was a struggle. Doesn't work for me. I just don't have the right brain for it. I don't have the patience. I don't know. I, I have so much respect for people who can do that kind of thing. Like customers, customers are the worst. Other people, ooh. Don't give me a job where I have to deal with other people. Ooh. Now bingo, I could do. I could, I, I would be a great bingo announcer. I know so many numbers. I reckon I'd smash that one. Seven, 48, 312, 8 billion. I could go on, I could. Don't make me, but I could. Anyway, probably two lines is enough, really, there. Since you get the, um, you know, since since you get all the dialogue from the, the priests here, they can tell you literally everything about Martin. Lucian doesn't need to tell you everything about Martin. That's the thing. If this weren't a mod, if this were official Bethesda content, they might well not tell you everything about Martin because they'd be in a hurry and they haven't got tons of time to dwell on it all. But because this is beyond Skyrim and it's made with such attention to detail and such depth that they, people writing this dialogue, Jack can probably tell me, but the people writing this dialogue probably did go on UESP and find all the interesting lore about Martin and make these guys tell it to you. Which is all I would do with Lucian, is have him just go and, you know, so... It, the job of regurgitating UESP has already been done with these conversations. So Lucian doesn't need to doesn't need to do all the Martin stuff. It's fine. Non seaside bingo halls don't do the fun numbers. Well that's really sad. I'd quite like to do irrational bingo. I think that should be a thing. What's that in the sky? Looks like it's pie. Yippity yee. The next number's E.
This one's for you. It's the square root of two. I'd smash it. Right, okay, so we've done, we've done the chapel. I don't think we need to dwell on that much further. Um, counties, we obviously only have County Bruma. Daedric Shrines. We have a Shrine of Namira. Southeast of Plundered Mine, occupied by Namira cultists. Ugh. Go on, we could do this then. This is CYR Namira Shrine Exterior Wilderness. Get in same cell. Can you go in it? No. CYR Namira Shrine Exterior. Let's pick a thing. Something that's probably constant. Oh, map marker. That'll do. Get in the same cell as that. Everywhere we go. Oh, what's happened there? Everywhere we go. Daedra worship. Even in my own beloved Cyrodiil. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Hyde. The shrine has the scary thing coming out of the rock. Does it? Does it? Does it? I missed that. Hang on. Oh, yeah. It's like a sort of spike. Or is that just rock? Is it just covered in blood? Don't know. It's spoopy anyway. like a claw up the top I can't see it are you talking about this oh this this big thing yeah I've just no yeah big old clawed hand Oof. I don't know what either of those things are mr. Hyde Daedric, things like this. Maybe I'll put the ugh at the end. That'll do. And this one is not in an interior. The spooky face and hand. Very horrible. I can't quite make out the face. Can't see the face from here, but I can see the hand. Anyway, we don't need to dwell on that. Oh, unless it's like blood, blood, and sad mouth. Anyway. It's possible to make out the stone features of a huge demonic creature inside string to break three. Ugh. Okay. Do 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 Okay, we've done the Daedric Shrine. Right, we've got guild halls, obviously. Obvi. We've got Frostcrag Spire, we've got Broom of we've got the Fighters Guild, we've got the Synod Conclave. Now the Fighters Guild 
Have I actually been in that? I don't think we ever went in that in my playthrough. We missed that. We should go back and try that. But Frostcrag Spire is definitely one to do lots of commentary about. So let's make that its own whole quest. JR31. Nope. 31. Lucian. Frostcrag Spire. Because this is something he can say loads about. And also we can comment on the quest content of Frostcrag, Frostcrag Spire. And all that sort of thing. We're going to do the whole shebang. It's a magical tower located east of Broomer atop Null Mountain. Got to track down and kill an escaped scamp. And you've got Whispers of the Mountain, which is the mysterious objects and stuff. This is true. He could, Ace. He could. He could mention that. It's a good tower. Very mysterious. And yes, was a player home back in Oblivion. As Jack says. If you did, they can. Upon entering, you get the awesome side of a frozen pond with a frost astronaut eyes. Oh, it is a frost astronaut. I didn't clock that. Buried in it. And beyond a large room with bright runes. Yeah. I love how in-depth this is. This is such a good wiki. And you got all the stuff. Sleeping quarters. Fine. You got the people to talk to. Law page. Frostcrag Spire. My word. Frostcrag Spire. It's even more majestic. I dared to imagine. I have not checked, and I'm afraid uh, I don't have the button to raid today. It's not there anyway, so it wouldn't even matter if I had checked them out. Twitch has, has robbed me of all my buttons today. I don't know why. I can't make them come back. I have no actions tab. I cannot initiate a raid. I cannot do a poll. I cannot do any of the things. I have no buttons. This is very odd. Oh, please, let's go inside. Hi, Cthulhu. Yeah, we're probably not going to go on for too much longer. So you are getting here at the tail end of the stream. Faux show. Sure. Now this we're going to say. Now, is there a cell for it? Get in cell... CYR Frost Crag Spire Exter No. Okay, what if we open up this and we look at how far the location extends? Is Lucian afraid of heights? Not really. Not especially. I mean he's afraid of everything that's remotely spooky. You know, he's afraid of everything so long but but not if he's distracted by something interesting. You know, as soon as there's something scientifically interesting, he becomes fearless because he just doesn't notice the scary thing anymore. Um, thank you so much for the sub, Kavulin. So I think, you know, if he looked down and stopped thinking about how interesting everything was, he probably would be scared at the top of the tower. But he'll be so having so much fun by the fact that he's there, that he probably won't even think about the heights. I haven't yet got the latest version of Bruma where they combine Meshes and Heartland into one ESP.
Let's look at the locations. We'll look at Frost Crack Spire. Frost Crack Spire. Where is the spire? Frost Crack Spire. The location is there. What does it extend to? It only applies to the interior. It doesn't apply to the exterior. No. We've only got two cells. We got the spire, we got the tower, we got the vault, we got three cells, but it doesn't apply to the exterior, so we won't use that. How are we going to condition whether Lucian is nearby? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's in the Gerald Mountains. Atop Knoll Mountain in the center of County Faruma. So I could do... Yeah, I'll be, yeah, yeah, sorry. I know I could do a get distance, yes. I'm trying to, trying to see whether there's a more elegant way to do it. But yes, I could do a get distance. Um, I'm just wondering if... Obviously, if it's on Knoll Mountain, does Knoll Mountain have its own location? You got Knoll Pass, not Knoll Mountain. We might have to do a get distance. Oh, see, we are Frost Craig Spire Exterior 01. It does have it. We can do a get in same cell. Get in same cell. See, we are Frost Craig. Frost crag by exterior. What have we got? We've got the door. Right, broadly speaking, that should cover it. If you're in the same cell as Frost Crag Spire's door, he can comment on it because it's near enough for him to be like, oh wow, this is amazing. We'll say random, we'll do da -da -da -da. we'll do a get stage done check. Now, because there are stages that lead up to going to Cross Crag Spire, I might do, we might start with 100 for this line to give us some room before. No, we'll go one, and then I need to actually make it the stage. Right, fine. Okay, stage. Zero, 10. And we'll have 100, because we want this line to only play once. Now, of course, before I actually create the script for it, we need to make sure we're using the proper prefix. because it's not JR0. And for that, I need to find my document again to see. Let's open Microsoft Excel to find my secret documents where I've got all the lists of all the things. Okay, Broomer is 31. That's the prefix. It's my 31st optional plugin for Lucian. Blimey. I was going through my VOD channel the other day, and I have over 180 stream VODs saved on the channel. I think if I'm remembering the number right, it's definitely a hundred and definitely over 150. But like, that's so much nonsense. There are so many of these stupid videos. That's more than anyone could watch through in like a lifetime. Well, not in a lifetime. More than anyone should watch through in a lifetime. I mean, come on, you've got to have better things to do with your time than watch through all of those. But yes, it's a lot anyway. I was excited though that um, the uh, the main YouTube channel I hit seven thousand five hundred subscribers, which is, feels like a nice milestone. Seven point five k was like that was exciting. And then on the um, and then on the on the VOD channel I was on seven hundred and forty nine. So if I can just tick that over to seven hundred and fifty, I'll have exactly ten percent of the subscribers on the live stream channel than I do on the main channel, and that will be really pleasing. 
to have that symmetry. Um, but yeah. Right. Of course, it's 31. It clearly says it in the ID. JR31, all of these, it says 31. I'm a fool. I should have called this Lucian Broom of Frost Crag Spire. I'll go back and change the name, see if it lets me. Hang on. Ha! And as it happens, with some nice synchronicity, Moobot happens to share the link for the VOD channel. <gasps> Thank you, my friends. Thank you for the congratulations. Uh, I've put B Bruma. We want Bruma like that. Bruma. Thank you for being here, Highland Springs. Right, okay, and there's the stages, and now I can go into the misc idle, idle dialogue. Oh, please, let's go inside. And we're going to go get owning quest dot set, no, set stage. Oh, yay, somebody subscribed to the VOD channel. Thank you so much, whoever just subscribed. That's very kind of you. Um, set stage. So that's brought me up to 750. Woohoo! Set stage. Uh, it was MX452. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. And that's going to set the stage 100. So, and this, of course, should be zero, not one. I'm an idiot. Right. There you go. Ah, of course. And we're also going to do a get is in interior. Is in interior equals zero just to make sure you are actually outside and he's not sneakily detecting the other side of the door or something. Ha! <laughs> when I hit a million, that's not going to happen. But it's lovely that you've like chosen to use the word when there. That's really nice of you, Plato Tomatoes. Uh, but I'm never going to hit a million subscribers. Let's be honest, my stuff is far too niche for that. I would love to hit 10,000 at some point. That would be really nice. But there is just not enough of an audience for my my stuff, you know, that I would ever hit a million. But that's fine. I'm happy with that. I don't need a million subscribers. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what content I'd start making to make something that actually appeals to a million people. But yeah, anyway, right, so that's the Frost Crag Spire. And then we can have a thing for when you actually do go inside with him. First Skyrim YouTuber to hit a Lucillian subscribers. <laughs> Is there a new redeem option for bits? No. What redeem option points for channel points? No, I haven't added anything. What about t-shirts? Play tomatoes. Do you want Lucy on in a t-shirt? Because we can get a link. Ta-da! Moobot links the merch store. You can get Lucy on in a t-shirt if you want one. It's there. Exclamation mark merch. It works. Oh, wow. Just feast your eyes on this place. This is incredibly exciting. And this is now we can say get in cell or get in current location because now we can say CYR Frost Crag Spire location equals one. We can say is an interior equals one. And we can say get stage done. Oh, well, we're going to add a stage 110. So we can say this line 110 has to be zero, and then for the previous line, if I copy that condition, we go back here, we 
go down there. That's 100. So now this line doesn't play if you've already played the second line. So therefore, once you go inside, he says the second line, and he'll no longer ask to go inside the first time. So that is very good. Well, that is very nice of you to say, Elena. I'm glad that you like the stuff I do. Yeah, I have played Stardew Valley. We did two streams of Stardew Valley a long time ago. It's something I'd like to revisit at some point. If you want to check out the streams, they are there on my stream archive channel. Which I think... No, it's not that. No, I can't remember the commands to get the uh, the archive channel. But they're, they're on my stream YouTube channel anyway. Um, so do check that out. What is the command? If you want to watch the Stardew Valley things and see what I made of that. We made Lucian in Stardew Valley, you see. I was role-playing Lucian, but in Stardew Valley. Um... I want to know. I want to know what the command is. VOD channel. That's what it is. VOD channel. There you go. There's the st I should. I should make that. I give it an alias for just VODs. But uh, VOD channel is there. That's where you'll find the Stardew Valley streams. Go on there. Have a look for them. They were good fun. Shout out from Cthulhu to Cthulhu's hubs for finally dusting off the Oculus and convincing them to try Beat Saber again, which is much delightful. Lightsaber drumsticks. I do love the Oculus. I love it. VR is so cool. Um, I was... Uh, we're, we're coming to the end of the of the stream, by the way, so I'll wrap up the, the Skyrim stuff. But I was talking to my supervisor today about what we could potentially do to take my intent work forward into a postdoc. And obviously my work at the moment is all being geared towards prosthetic control. But... There are potential applications in gaming and particularly in VR. And we were talking about, I could potentially spend a little bit of time, maybe a couple of months next year, exploring what you can do with intent prediction in VR with the technology I've been developing and whether that could be used as a control input or to sort of predict what you're going to do in VR so you can like preload assets to reduce loading times and stuff by knowing what you're about to do. I don't know whether it can apply or not, but that could be a really cool thing to explore. Anyway, right. So, we are going to bring the stream to an end there because I need to go and have food. So, um, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry we didn't get tons done. We got a bit done. And I hope we all had fun anyway. That's the main thing. So, do follow the channel. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, please do subscribe. Hit the like button, comment underneath, all that sort of thing. Why not check out my Patreon if you want to do that? If you're interested in supporting the sort of nonsense I do, please do check out the Patreon. Um, there's loads of perks and things on there. It would make me very happy if you could consider supporting. Well, there's the link to it. Um, but please don't feel any pressure to do that either, because I'll obviously keep doing this for free uh, forever and ever and all of that. So I will be back on Saturday evening for some Skyrim gameplay. Do tune in then. We'll be doing more adventuring with all the new follower squad. There's some really cool follower mods I'm try trying out at the moment. Really cool stuff going on. Do tune in for that. And uh, yeah, stay marvellous. Look after yourselves. Continue to be wonderful to each other. And I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.